They call it the Acer Predator Helios 18. And in this video, let's unbox it. This is the latest from Acer's Helios Predator lineup. This is the CES sample. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to benchmark this laptop, but I'm excited to take a look, check out the build quality and see what the new Helios has to offer. In the past, I was not impressed at how much they kept the design the same kind of year over year. To me, it kind of got outdated and it was good to see them refresh the components. However, I didn't really love the build quality as other brands improve build quality. I didn't really see Acer improving theirs. And so that kind of left me not really as excited, to be totally honest, to recommend the Predator Helios lineup as I had in the past when I really thought it was a great value. But as Asus and Lenovo continued to improve their build quality and design, I wanted to see Acer do the same. And so that is what I'm hoping to see in this video is an improvement of build quality and usability. And then once we get a full production model, we can benchmark this laptop and give it a go. Now I'm liking the packaging so far. It's looking pretty nice here. So some improvements alone on the packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. Cool little Predator logo. This is a big laptop. I'm really excited about these 18 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratios that are coming out. It should be a good year of reviewing laptops. Wow, all right. First look of the Helios 18. Love this back panel here. This little ledge, as I like to call it. As you can see, it has a nice glossy finish. It almost looks like you're looking into the laptop and I like the design elements there. It looks like you can swap out. Looks like they have different colors. So you can actually swap out your vent pieces. That's pretty cool. This is quite a heavy laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the weight and thickness up on the screen. I'm guessing six and a half, seven pounds. Um, it's not very thick though. For an 18 inch laptop, it's uh, fairly thin comparatively. Um, let's go ahead and check out the assembly and build quality. Aluminum top cover, very nice, classic Helios. Looks like we're gonna have some fingerprint possibilities there, as you can see. Um, going ahead and looking at the side panel, looks pretty similar to the Helios of the past. However, so this is aluminum on the side panel. So we have aluminum side panels, aluminum top cover, but we still have a plastic bottom cover. To be honest, this, this disappoints me. And not only is it plastic, but it's kind of just that cheap matte plastic that I just wish was higher quality, to be totally honest with y'all. Um, that looks like that cracked. So again, this is just a CES sample, but that, that showed up cracked. Hmm. That, I, that could crack on other models because that's a very thin piece of plastic there. So just as a shout out to Acer, consider that a piece of aluminum as this model showed up cracked. And, and nothing on them. I think because this is a CES sample, they still have chance to, you know, get the production model all up to snuff, but just keep that in mind there. All right. All right, before we move on to the ports, the assembly is good along the bottom, no catchy edges. Um, everything's snug nicely, side panel into the bottom cover. Let's go ahead and check out the ports. We have a network port, USB type A, micro SD card reader, headphone jack, and on the left side panel, we have two more USB type A's and a Kensington lock. Along the back panel, we have two USB type C's and an HDMI port as well as our power adapter. All right, so let's go ahead and open and close this lid. Let's see if we can do it with one hand. I'm sure we can because this is quite a heavy laptop. Slide it back a little bit so you can see it. Surprising, kind of lifts up off the desk there a little bit. So a little lift off the desk, but nonetheless opens and closes with one hand. Let's go ahead and check out that screen flex. Man, this thing is big. Bit of screen flex, but I mean, this is a massive 18 inch screen. I mean, just goodness me, look at that thing. That is a lot of screen real estate. All right, aluminum top cover, nice kind of soft matte touch trackpad. A little rattly, okay. I love the Triton 300 SE. Build quality is stellar. I'm gonna go get one. 
Okay, so to show some comparison here, I love the Triton 300 SE. I think the Triton series is just way better built. If you're gonna go for an Acer laptop, I recommend checking out the Triton series just from a build quality standpoint. The trackpad on the 300 here, compared to the trackpad here on the 18 Helios, it's just not as refined. I just wanna be honest. Even the bezel here, so you see kind of this more affordable plastic material around the bezel. You have a much higher quality bezel plastic material here around the screen. I just think these laptops are built better. Aluminum bottom cover, aluminum top cover, aluminum keyboard deck, side panels, uh, just overall, my favorite from Acer. Now, I don't wanna be too hard on this thing because I know it is their budget-friendly option. However, I really wanted to see some improvements on the overall build quality this year, and it, it, mm, it hurts for me to have to kind of point out some of these things that I was really hoping to see better. But I know that as hard as it is to say it, it takes saying it to see improvements over time. Now, I wonder if we have enough battery life to fire it up. All right, so I got the laptop plugged in, gonna fire it up. Here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can check it out and see what it looks like. This is the webcam on the Acer Predator Helios 18 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. All right, now look at that. That is really cool. I must say, I love how that lights up. It says Helios right there. See if we can get a look at that. That is really neat. And even along the back, the LED light, the RGB pops out. That is cool. They got me on that for sure. And I love how the design matches up with the screensaver, kind of the Helios Predator vibes. Very, very nice. Getting in here, the screen looks good. Has some good sharpness to it. It's bright. The keyboard lights up very nicely. It's an RGB backlit keyboard. So everything overall looks good. And again, besides those few little nuances, the trackpad's a little on the rattly side. Oh, look at that, it's an RGB. So it's not just blue, it's full RGB, that's cool. Um, so like I said, I, I didn't wanna be too hard, but when Acer offers a good option, as far as build quality is concerned, I have to notice when the build quality is a little lacking on this Helios. I wanna see some improvements in the production model, and I'm excited to review that, excited to review the performance because this historically has been a great option for creators. It has great performance. This is most likely gonna come with an i7 or an i9 processor, the latest RTX 40 series. They're not quite sure on which exact components are gonna be released once it comes out, but it is a great option. I just saw a few things that stood out to me that I wanted to comment on. So if you're considering buying it, you're aware of some of those elements. Links in the description if it is available when you're watching this video and you wanna make a purchase or check the live pricing. And of course, likes this video has brought you some value. I will see you here in the next video.